word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devin and I'm here with Emma. I'm here with CJ. Hello. I'm here with Alexander. Ahoy! <laughs> and I'm here with Max One Hanji. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. Celebration! Oh. <laughs> Do you know why? No. Everybody? Tell me why. <laughs> One hundred episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Pump it up. CJ Woo! is not impressed. <laughs> hey, Deb, can you do some post? Song? Can you do some post editing to make me dance on the beat? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. I can't I hear it very well, so I'm just sort of. I love those ones. He, he's, where, he's not a miracle worker. <laughs> where oh. they always do the, show the dancing and it's like off I'm just beat. Trying to, I'm just trying to stay they're... consistent with the movement so you can speed it up or slow it down. I mean, if I get a bit too jolty, then maybe it's a bit harder. <laughs> How is everyone? How is everyone feeling for, for the 100th episode? I oh, am surreal. Elated. Surreal. You're elated. Can't yeah. believe we made it this far. Elated. I know. I, I, yeah. Elated. CJ, how does it feel to be committed in a committed relationship? I ain't committed. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> committed. I'm, 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 keep, I'm keeping my options open. Something better. <laughs> <laughs> Something Alex. better comes along. Alex, Same how matter. are you? How are you feeling about this moment in time? Uh, you know what? Absolutely loving it. And I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to the anchors of this podcast. The Legaspies, Devin and Emma. Oh, oh. The anchors. Thank you. <laughs> We're heavy. You guys have held it down for us. We're heavy. Se Siege is almost there. Um, yeah, Siege Siege is like, CJ. Siege is like the, the prong on the anchor. <laughs> what a butt kisser. <laughs> <laughs> Smooching up to the bosses there. Like, mm. Well, Dev, what have we got? What have we got? How, you know what? Let me ask you, Dev, how do you feel having edited what will now be, by the time this is out, a hundred plus episodes? Um, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's a part of me now, this whole, this whole thing. Oh. It's, um, I feel like I've gained three extra members in my family. I feel like, I mean, two extra because Alexander is part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think I've, I think I've. Are we like, are we, are me and Alex a bit like the ones that we've moved to university and we just come back every now and yes. again? Yes. Oh, like yeah. Oh, and I got Uncle Siege. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Siege. <laughs> Uncle Siege. Well, He's there we're most celebrating, of the time. aren't we, with our grape juice? What the hell is this? It looks like wine, but it's not quite wine. What else do we have, Dev? <laughs> Is it Ribena? Oh, it tastes like Ribena, but it's fizzy. It's, it you know, one time. of those fake alcohol <laughs> things we, that the We cases. have a cake. Oh. Oh. And it's oh. got one candle to represent 100. <laughs> because I uh, You, you can have about. any amount of candles to represent 100. Wow. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Not quite. No. I thought <laughs> I made a hundred, and in reality, yeah. I had 50 made per 10. candle. So uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, didn't you just say nice. before, Alexander, that you were listening to episode one? I was listening to episode one. Now, yeah. to get to episode one, How you know, I went, we? I went, let's go. I'm on Spotify. Let's go to it. Sort in no. reverse order. Oh. Episode 23. What? What? Oh, so Apple Podcasts, reverse order, episode 23. What, what? is going on? Good old trusty Podbean, had episode one right there, <laughs> turned it on, got to my morning. Oh. Do, do you know so the we most have interesting part on the other two? No, I don't. I think they must have like a cap on how many they keep or something. But the most interesting part about, about episode one to me was listening to, to the stories, but then going, I wonder what happened to these. Like, what's, what's the update? What did we talk about? And what did we talk about? So, so episode one, don't, we talked remember, about... I don't remember what we talked about last week. You want me to remember what we talked about 99 episodes Was it the poo train? Ago? We talked... No, no, episode one, Vigilantes. we talked about... 
the vigilantes. We did. We talked about the the paying the five hundred bucks to tackle suspects. Oh, um, oh yeah. We talked about the Tinder yeah. girl who got a thousand men to show up and compete for a oh, attention yeah. and affection. Was that episode one? Jesus, it we've was. Talked and shit. we also talked about um, the mayor, the the unique mayor or running for mayor candidate in Tokyo, one of the cities in Tokyo, um, that was an AI that was running for mayor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, gosh, that was a few years back uh, now. I, am, I can't contain my excitement right now. Please tell me you've done <laughs> now, the research and you're going to tell us what's happening. Now, happened. look, I've done, I've done the research. <laughs> and what I can tell you, what I can tell you categorically Hercules, is... Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> the news is useless because all they do... All they do is tell you the speculation of a story and then never follow it up. I can't find any information. I've searched for this Tam New City town for the mayor. I can't even find what? out who the current mayor is. Like, I, it's it's no. mad. I've looked up, the, I found the name of the robot, looked that up. They don't even talk. Like, you can either find articles about it running or just things now. Nothing, I feel like nothing that robot took over that village and blew it up or destroyed it somehow and all the evidence <laughs> along with it. We got to cut this out. This is... The, the five hundred dollar one, the <laughs> the association, <laughs> the, associ- the association that um proposed the five hundred dollars to tackling suspects, again couldn't find anything about whether that actually passed, but did find out that the head of the association got in trouble for leaking an email where they suggested that black people are monsters and there's oh. nothing you can do about it. They're always going to be that way. <gasps> uh, what the hell? Oh, that's a news story. What? Uh, and I, I was gonna say that could be considered a racist. I think. <laughs> <laughs> could be. You know what I like. We have to look finger. into it a bit more. The finger, the not Sherlock sure. Holmes finger. I, I am not sure if that crosses a line. I didn't <laughs> just not. I didn't look up the the Tinder one just because I, I didn't. There's not much to follow up on, is there? Like we already knew that they did stay together and whatnot. So um. you know. Is what it is, but mm. yeah, that was my biggest insight. Is news is useless. Like, Isn't that you only get one, brilliant, one part and of that's the why you come to us. <laughs> yeah, that's why you come you to us because we give like you a service that. which is not useless, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're different. <laughs> we're yeah. di- Maxi, tell us now, how we're different. We're different. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the that's end. What you want to hear. <laughs> Are we um? Are we gonna? Are you gonna get drunk? Or are you gonna get back onto the first it's article? It's non-alcoholic. It's yeah. grape juice. Sure. Yeah. That's no, no, that's what all alcoholics say. It, it actually it, is. No, yeah, yeah, it's non. <laughs> for everyone that can't see me, I'm doing those air quotes. Air quotes. <laughs> air quotes. Things, yeah. <laughs> but there it is. Anywho, well, I was wondering what to start with. Let's see. Um. You know, you guys last week were talking about that monolith. And I was like, wait, what? So there's been an update on that, but we didn't even talk about it. So let's talk about that, right? Mm. What's a monolith? So, (laughs) (laughs) wait, you know about this because last week I'm sure you said, oh, yeah. So That big silver thing in the middle of the desert. So in In a remote part of the Utah desert, they were doing an annual flyover. (laughs) And like, you know, flyovers just to check everything's in order, you know, desert still looking like desert or whatnot. And then they spotted a ginormous- Why would you be flying over to check the desert? That's well, my first question. I mean, like- like it's... it's not like it's going to miraculously change into a forest. But no. CJ, they do I it be- so that in case a monolith comes and one turned I up. Believe, I reckon I that believe, monolith isn't is planted. It like, isn't it like a-, uh, like a not res- reserves a wrong word, but like a protected yeah. area. The and national park. The confusing part is the people who look over it are called BLM. So every time they refer to BLM in the article, I got really confused. <laughs> BLM aren't sure about I this thing. Like, why would they be? <laughs> <laughs> I saw BLM that. Have, have yet to give an opinion on the desert. <laughs> oh. So it was first spotted by a helicopter pilot and wildlife officers who were flying above. The rug air, rugged well, area life is in the desert. to conduct an annual count of bighorn sheep. There you go for the state. Um, and then they saw Ooh. this this large metal object, um, which is about three meters high. So it's quite big. It's between ten to twelve feet. 
Anyway, no one knew where it came from, made the news rounds and drew quite a lot of people in, actually, because mm. a lot of people started going, oh, I want to see this. You know, there was people saying, is it aliens? Because apparently it looks very much similar to the one from A Space Odyssey. Or is that? Who cares? Yeah. Well, that's why they were saying aliens. No. Was it aliens? Oh, right? right. Space Odyssey is based on a true story. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah. That's the bit I get confused about. <laughs> but, but, right? <laughs> get this. There was, uh, if you look in that article and scroll down, I think, it, yeah, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, it must have been a different article. <laughs> non-alcoholic right non-alcoholic no no listen get this (laughs) oh here we go i just i I snipping tooled it um there was a on twitter uh, at david z werner Oh, David Zverna. Um, he goes, the portal to Utah is at David Zverna, 20th Street. And this exact looking object thing was an artist display uh, by John McCracken, who is now deceased, um, in an art gallery. Um, so, yes, I mean, it's most likely the work of an artist. Anyway, so then I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that's not, that's not whatever. Then in the week, they started reporting about footage being viewed by people taking it away. Did you guys see that? No. Wait, you saw footage of people taking it away? Yes, because they leaked footage of these like men, or like youngish men, taking it, hauling it away on a trailer in the middle of the night. They'd gone there and they were hauling it away on a trailer and there was some leaked footage. So everyone was like, wait, is that the people that put it there, whatever? But it's come out that no, it was actually... Sylvan Christensen and Andy Lewis, um, who who are on Instagram, I guess, and YouTube, they're quite big. They usually do posts about skydiving and base jumping and all that adventure stuff. They said they were responsible for taking it away because they said that it's it's basically damaging the environment. And they were like, Yes, okay, the an artist probably put it there, but it's an ethical failure to cut into the rock to erect the monolith. And then the damage caused by the internet sensationalism, which brought a lot of people to that area where there's no toilets, nothing, and there's people like defecating oh, and like think open, about that shit. Yeah, and a lot right. of just like trampled area, I like they trampled loads shit. of plantations around there with Wait, is is like, defecating bad for the I think that was one thing because it was like loads of open. It was like a, it was. I became like a, mm. a, a cesspit of just a human cesspool. waste. Oh, a cesspool! cesspool. Of but ex- they like excrement. <laughs> they said that you know a lot of the vehicles uh, were like flattening loads of the the plantation and stuff around the area. So they were the ones that took it down. Mm. Anyway, since it was taken down, a new one has popped up in Romania. So it looks basically the same. It's like the little sister of it, but it still looks the same. If you have a look, it, it, and no one knows where on earth it's come from again or who's put it there. But it's alien. Um, yeah. So what's the point of the monolith? What was the what was? Oh, nobody knows. No one knows. It's, pro- uh, it's, it's probably it's there the- to transport an alien from the ship to that to that space. It's most likely just an art exhibition, you know. No, no, no. It's a transporter. <laughs> <laughs> so the one the, the one in Romania, yeah. the location, I can't remember exactly, but it's quite a significant location, isn't it? It's on Batka Doamne Hill in the city of Piatra Neamt in northeastern Romania. Um, there was something... Has, has Terizan all of a sudden fallen in that area and then he did bring in more tourists? I think everywhere because of COVID siege. <clears throat> Maybe the monolift is actually the cure for COVID. No, don't start saying that shit. <laughs> do, you gonna... know, oh, do you know? Oh, there's a third one. Three? There's a third one in yeah. California now. In California, <laughs> is there a sequel? <laughs> the, fir- the first is always the best. <laughs> I guess what's quite impressive you actually three, thinking about this. Is COVID, right? So there's no 
international travel or there's very little because of country's rules about having to then, what's the word? Isolate. Quarantine. Quarantine. Isolate. So yeah. this is interesting because either you have a whole worldwide group of these artists that have, you know, set this up and been like, okay, I'll do it on that day and then you're going to erect it on that day and then you're going to erect it on that day. Because at first I thought, oh, this artist must have flown and then, or him and a team of whatever and then put it up there. And then, but now there's, so there's been three. You know what's interesting? You know what I find interesting about this whole thing? What? Is that it's just a, well, I don't know, is it a, it's a, it's a statue, it's a, what is it, steel? What is it? Glass, whatever, Metal, right? Metal, yeah. And no one's saying anything about what it's there for, but the stories we make up, with there's no information about this. About the aliens transporting no, aliens. yeah, but people looked at it. They can see bolts, so it's not one big piece of metal. Like you can see where it's been bolted, so it's most likely human. Well, I mean, <laughs> all right, Sage, tell me about your story. <laughs> I most definitely I human. Bolts. CJ, based don't... on the bolts, <laughs> you deduce that it's human. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, no. like, like aliens don't need to put things together. <laughs> <laughs> They'd use other stuff besides bolts. I feel like I. F this this is how I would approach this. I feel like my assumption is humans first, and then if anything is contrary to that to that belief, then I would think, okay, it's something else. Not this could be absolutely anything. It could be aliens. <laughs> it, it might be a horse. Yeah. But first, let's see. Oh, it it's has human-like structural features. Yes. Therefore, it must be humans. I you agree. Know? That's that's. But I guess that would make it a boring podcast if we assumed it was humans right. well, immediately. You know, so yeah. let's let's go with let's that. Go with let's go with some stories. Think it's, um, let's take some stories. I think it's strange that we will lean towards aliens before we'll lean towards like maybe monkeys are coming out, you know, <laughs> the Stone Age a bit quicker than we expected. Like what's what's <gasps> a great elite of happening? <laughs> Planet of the Apes. They're messing with us. Where's Mark Warburg? <laughs> it's not it's not even they're messing with us. It's just it's the first thing they've learned to build. <laughs> <laughs> don't really know what we're doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it reminds me a lot of my first... It's just on a bigger scale. But when I in my first year of engineering, we went into the workshop and we were just learning how to bend sheet metal into a right angle. We weren't doing it for any good oh. reason. It's just this is how you do it. So maybe it's just monkeys on their first year of university bending <laughs> things into a square shape. Sheet metal. All right, and they're like, what do that. we do with this? <coughs> oh, just just chuck it in the desert. What is the next thing that they're going teaching? for? What are they Have doing next, Maxi? Have you teaching them how to make it, Maxi? <laughs> Um, Maxi, what are say. they going to go next? <laughs> what are they going to build next? After you bent um, sheet metal, what did you do after that? Yeah. Uh, the next thing we learned to use sort of a heavy duty drill bit on. Uh, so we started uh -oh. drilling holes in things in, oh, in places shit. of where, where, where it has the most structural integrity. So you can't go too close to the edge. You don't want to do it on a bend. Um, so that's probably what they'll do next. So if we if we see um, and then if you'll see maybe collapse, maybe they make why. a few little errors and we'll 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 understand that they yeah. are in their first year. <laughs> <laughs> and and also another dis a, a defining factor of first year students is they always wear their lab coats. But once you get past first year, you don't wear the lab coats anymore. <laughs> it's like an unnecessary really? thing. Wait, they don't make you wear the lab holes. coats. Well, they make the first years wear lab coats just to identify them as gullible. first years. Ah, oh, that's so bizarre. Because they're gullible. <laughs> But then if you get a job in, in a lab, you've got to wear a lab coat then, no? Yeah, but in a lab, you're not going to be uh, drilling. Where are you going? No, don't don't follow that story. <laughs> as Maxi, where, is it, where are these monkeys going next? I want to know what they're building. Because if they've got this monolith that's doing nothing, yeah. I want to know where they're yeah. going. What are they creating? Well, one of the first things I made was a chess piece. Oh. Oh. They're creating Ooh. armor to, to destroy us. So maybe oh, that was the pawn. Imagine gigantic chess, piece. chess pieces start showing up that's at the just, night. That's an abstract pawn, that. The next one, yeah, it's going to be like... <gasps> oh, we're not that an kind abstract of... abstract... We're not that kind of... Castle. Castle. Some bishops. We're yeah, I was going to say, did you say abstract, abstract porn? porn? Yeah. That is oh, insane. What's, what's wrong with a regular porn? <laughs> I I was thrown by the so Romania you might find one. There's going to be a sort of hub of porn just all around <laughs> desert. Almost like a porn hub. <laughs> <laughs> Only four of us got that, Maxi. Only four know. of us got that. <laughs> Some of them might be abstract, but <laughs> um, I was 
was startled by the Romania one, and now the California one shocked <laughs> like, me even more. What do you so, mean? Were you startled and... <laughs> well, at first, I didn't like the story. I was like, that's boring. It's just an artist. <laughs> yeah. But then uh, when it... I mean, I'm still at that bit. <laughs> 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 to be honest with me too but like but I then figured, when it disappeared it's going to be very boring if we go and go then another one it's an artist up. who sent it to different people around the world to put it up on different dates but then but that's before <laughs> I started thinking which was just on the podcast now about the travel international travel there you go yeah that's but it can still mail it works. yeah I think international Wait, things like international send moments, courier. international moments of consistency are less impressive in the internet era because that's quite easy to like, organize. Are you suggesting an artist made it in America and sent it around the world? Yeah. And to people that he knows, and they are just erecting it whenever they, the date is uh, correct. No, I think I it's different it, ones. There's probably just more ones. than one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think there's more than one. I, but it could be, could I be thought more than one. that the artist You could have a charge. copycat monolith maker. This, Why is it called a monolith? Well, m- monolith. Because oh, of, lift. and that has that direct reference to a space odyssey because the one that in was in a space odyssey was called monolith. Maybe we should stop referring to it as a monolith. <laughs> Just an object. <laughs> yeah. And a, I thought, cu- a I thought, cube I thought, of metal. I, I thought originally you said monolith. So I was like, I've been calling it monolith ever since. <laughs> a monolift. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was a monolift. I was like, I'm sure they're the things that lift people up, like mountains and stuff. Up, up the side of the stairs. So, Ma- Maxi, people. Maxi, you're not impressed by this, right? Are you impressed? I, mean, I like. No, I, I, I'm impressed with the. Uh, in the same <laughs> way, I'm impressed with crop circles. Like I, 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 I get a bit interested by yeah. the, the stories around it, but I'm not impressed Wait, by the thing yeah, itself. Right. But crop circles. Oh gosh, I mean, wow. Some of those oh, oh, should no, not have said no, that. No, you've, got, you've opened the can of worms up, oh, and no, you no, deserve no, no. this, Max. Oh, you've opened no. this can. Can we? Can we just? The, the can we give Emma size. her to? Got Emma? Tell us. Tell us the what pure crop size are. of some of these crop circles, and that literally pop up from not being there the night before. Like, I mean, and and there's no track. <laughs> Leading from and what? from the crop circle to anywhere. So, like, how would people have walked through there if there was like talking about the size? You'd have to have about fifty people, right? So then, what are they just all like twinkle toes? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's Fred Astaire and his friends. How did they? So you get can't walk through circle? corn without crushing it. Is that a thing? So yeah. let me. I just. Must be. I want to know. So I want to know. You can't move it like this. What's your explanation of the crop circle? Aliens. Don't give give me more. Don't give me what. Give me the why, the how. Don't know. But I think it's to what do kind with, of aliens? Well, no, I think it's to do with their craft, to be honest. What you think about Besides being fleet of foot, what kind of aliens? Yeah, I think it's you think their that, craft. You think, you think and their craft like spiral grays. legs? No, it's probably greys. Oh, the, the drivers of the craft are greys and the, the, Maybe they're maybe it's like a barcode and they're just tagging the earth like but I also think that people, I bought it. people do do them. There's definitely people that have made them as well. But some of those ones, are, they make you scratch your head and go, hmm. Yeah. To, to, be, to be honest with you, all of them are making me scratch my head and go, hmm. No, as in like, they can't be done by humans, some of them. Emma. Yes, they can be. I mean, they could Emma. be, but I'm open to the fact that aliens could also do it. What if, say, if, for example, so why I would I've not an seen alien... any of these? I've not seen any this of my... these. Say if there was... Oh, go on, CJ, you go first. You go first, because... If... Oh. After you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. Have you, fall... you fallen asleep? <laughs> I mean, look at this I'm ho- one. I'm holding it in. I'm holding it in. <laughs> go, Maxi. <laughs> I was just I was just curious. Like, if there was a team of 30 people that sat down in a room together, like engineers, and they were they were crazy enough to think let's try and convince people they're aliens could they create these crop circles like if there was a very strong intent could they have some weird ladder thing that goes over the corn so it doesn't have to trample it like yes. is that feasible yeah or could it they is. walk backwards from the crop circle like when they're walking away and just like with a broom sweeping their footprints as they walk backwards <laughs> oh, so they do that thing which i never do which is make sure they mop the part of the room which they're not going to work on next <laughs> look at the one i just sent you <laughs> I mean, they're there one morning that wasn't there the day before, night before. 
And look how many intricate circles. I mean, it goes from tiny circles to like huge circles and there's so many. So that would have taken a lot of people to do in one night. But my question is why, if it was aliens, why? Like why that many intricate circles? And like, if you wanted to make your mark as an alien, I can think of much easier ways to do it. I don't think that- so hello? <laughs> I don't know. Just fly by during the day and then zoom Well, off. I think, like, for me, like, uh, my part goes, like, when you said it would have took a lot of people a lot of time, therefore aliens, I can't comprehend why <laughs> it's more feasible that aliens than a lot of people come together to do that. No. Look. Even if it was overnight and we believe the farmer that told you it was just overnight. Well. Yeah. This could be six months of work. Yeah. And then one day he calls up and goes, you know oh, guess what happened overnight? Now with Google Earth, that could be... I wonder how many crop circles have popped up since Google Earth. Because okay, you can check that a lot is, easier. Why would the aliens come down to Earth to create crop circles and then leave? And also, but that's the can question I we've say, been asking the whole a time. A lot of these of, uh, crop circles <laughs> like have been... Why? Crop circles have been um, popping no up for like decades why. and decades and decades. Like they park their car. They go, ooh, <laughs> this looks nice. They go back in and they leave. <laughs> and What's you've the also point now of just, that? You've made me think another one. Now you're saying Google Earth. The amount of satellites and like observatories we have on Earth and the, the amount of space that we're looking at outside of the Earth. What point have they snuck in to do this without anyone noticing? But maybe the people that control the satellites are aliens. Mm. <gasps> now I feel like this is this is a classic example. Like once you start entertaining those questions, it's like when you're having an argument. It's that analogy like fighting a pig in the mud, and then you realise <laughs> after <laughs> two hours of fighting that what? the pig's just enjoying. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I like the. <laughs> And why you would it take you one? two hours to realize that? <laughs> like you're, you're putting all this energy in fighting this pig, like trying to wrestle it and stuff. Yeah. And then you realize the pig isn't interested in the fight. He just really enjoys <laughs> playing in mud. Yes. <laughs> but I mean, you, so it was, right. Like for me, as soon as you go past that question of like the, the thing I said, which was, did a lot of people come together and make this? And did we believe the farmer or it was aliens? If you, if you for some reason go down on this flow chart of, okay, let's assume aliens and start asking questions there. Now you're in the mud. And now people just love having fun talking yeah. about it. If you cancel that and say, by the way, people are, can be organized, yeah. then then it's like, you're not playing in the mud. Yeah. So we, are we happy to play in the mud? But I think for a podcast, the let's play in the mud. It's okay. more fun. Because I think I know how they did it. How? Hey, that's Ooh. rude calling us pigs. So Austin Powers, <laughs> there's, a, there's this Austin Powers, Dr. Evil came up with the laser beam. Fire the laser, laser beam. beam. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good impression. That was, do you know what? That was a good impression. Not because it's, it didn't necessarily sound like him though, but it was very like um, in tandem. It, it felt, yeah, it felt really good. You know, <laughs> and they and a lot of people didn't need to be involved. The guys, the satellite has the laser beam, and they're able to make perfect circles from. The Ooh. top of the world. Yeah, because the thing is, when <laughs> you're down me. on the ground, <laughs> she just <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, she did I'm, my I'm, move. I'm growing from that. I'm growing from that. You said perfect em circles. Emma, you can't be stealing my move. I'm just no, no, no. But opinions, get this, because right? he said perfect circles. <laughs> if you're down on the ground, the ha being able to get the exact perfect circle without being able to see it from up there looking down because don't forget these crop circles have been going for decades and decades and decades and decades right before we had drones hold, 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 on, right, hold on how many decades all right we're, we're still just playing in the mud call. so we're just mucking around in the mud uh, is, yeah, is, no, it, is it better 100 I'm decades you. <laughs> i mean you've that? seen the people you've seen the people who do like the art in in like yeah, the... massive pieces of art on the ground they even do yeah. it with crops and stuff where they put like a human face or something yeah, yeah. So people do it it's not unheard of yeah you can make I get what you mean about circle. the circles though the circles like and this this is more this is gonna be so ridiculous but this is more from tattooing like when whenever they have to do something with lots of consent when did circles, you do tattooing i watch a lot of tattooing shows so each we'll, we'll leave that one um <laughs> but when they do the concentric circles, lots of them, it, it is hard to do, to be fair. Like, so even if people did do this, it's still an impressive piece of artwork. Very impressive. Mm. Yeah. It is impressive. 
Very what if they what if they didn't do it overnight, but they just put loads of like um something in the ground and they could just trigger it and then they all of a sudden boof you have a crop circle. Boom. That's pretty impressive too. So I I don't rem- I don't know this fact, but isn't the thing about a crop circle the fact that the crop stalks are bent but not broken? Like isn't that what makes them really oh. intriguing as well? Ooh interesting because can't you like just put a if you have like a piece of string and then you just nail a stake in the ground and then you pull that string around the stake then you make a perfect circle and bend all the crops over at the same time oh wow wow I, th- I think the i, I think the idea is <laughs> i think maxi worked it out by himself in about three seconds <laughs> If you try and do it, you'll break them. Like this, the stalk will uh, like. I, I, I am sure a few of the stalks are broken. I I'm don't just, know, but I love. I'm intrigued. I'm trying to help you out here, Emma. You should. I know. You should have dug into it. this part. Yeah. No. <laughs> we're mud day. I love it. We're balls deep I in this. I, I can't believe Max <laughs> worked out <laughs> how, <laughs> deep in the how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like that. Yeah, balls deep in the mud. That can that be the title of this episode? Yes. <laughs> we we can call it. Let's get muddy. Uh, Hundred oh, episodes wow. of balls deep in the mud. Um, I feel like this is a bit of a homage, to be fair, to our podcast as well, because we haven't done this in a long time talking about aliens. Talking nah, about what aliens? aliens? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've gone. We've we gone bring up. Down we bring up Elon Musk all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a robot. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> I don't know now. It's a, it's a fine. Can one. I just get a show of hands? How many people in our podcast um, believe in aliens? You do this every single yeah, but time. I always are you, forget. <laughs> are you waiting for people to sway or what? Oh, do you, Maxie? I mean, we all do. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Aiden, uh, Alexander. I only took you two attempts Sorry. this time. Aiden's my son. I get them confused. CJ, CJ, you don't believe in aliens? Yeah, but I just want to disagree with people. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> does. Now I feel a lot better and I don't feel like a, I'm on my lonesome. There's illegal aliens everywhere. You know how um, you touched on one of the articles that you saw? It is just a little one. I think, I don't know who put it in there, actually. I think it was perhaps... Dev or CJ um, about Rudy Giuliani. Does everybody know who he is? The lawyer for the president, current president, Mr. Trump, President Trump. (laughs) Um, So he's his lawyer and he was in a a big uh, law case thing. And um, (laughs) it it was to do with, uh, it was to do with um, the the current, the election results. So they were battling. (laughs) And, um, was it like a hip hop battle? These guys aren't gladiators at the Coliseum. This is not what's happening. I forgot the technical terms. But you know, they were back and forth. Isn't it called debating? <laughs> Arguing? Yes. Yeah, so I crossed. Yes. Yeah, so he's being. Rudy Giuliani was being cross examined. Now, um, during his speech, where he's like, I have a whole book, and he holds up this big white portfolio of affidavits saying you know there's been cheating and all this and that I have a whole book of these blah blah, blah. and uh, he, he just lets a couple rip and it's like you can hear it quite uh it's quite audible of, shall we say a couple of affidavits rip there emma is that <laughs> oh no 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 he let one slip he, out of his uh bottom anus he, he gave him a gassy response <laughs> <laughs> he tried to gas out the room <laughs> Um, yeah, so thank you for putting that in. You've, you haven't really given it justice that. Uh, I mean, there's <laughs> not really much article. else to I say. Mean, and the funny thing the is, that he's, it actually wasn't me. The oh. fact that you he's suspect the personal a lawyer, farting article yeah. to be me. <laughs> he's a personal <laughs> lawyer for someone who doesn't want to say the word, Emma. He's a personal lawyer of President Trump. Come on, like you could have. You could have put oh, something together. I you know, right? I know. I thought that's what you were leading to. I didn't. It's I like didn't it's like she doesn't want to say it's, it's like Voldemort. She doesn't want to say it, say the name. I actually didn't think of that. So yeah, he um it's I mean that would would you just carry on speaking as though it didn't happen? Yes, I've done it. Mm. Yes. Why does, yeah, we've all done does the headline it. not yeah. say 
fart. Uh, why is it, it says farts instead of Trumps. Why does it not say Trumps? Yeah, that would have been a lot that better. Been, I don't think Trumps is a word that they use in America to 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 say farts. Well, I think that's. I always I, they, I see them refer to this guy that looks like a bit of a fart all the time using <laughs> using Trump. <laughs> Do they? Maybe it's an English thing. Uh, um, my mum said it because she didn't like the f a r t word. Now because she didn't like it. <laughs> Wait, the f a r t word. Let me just break that down. <laughs> <laughs> now because she didn't like it. I don't like it. Like, she okay, this is a weird thing. My mum didn't like the word, but she for, and I don't know how where this came from. She thought poop was a better replacement. <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I pooped. But for everybody else, poop means you, you shut yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I was trying to be. I was trying to be polite in front of my school teachers and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how often I told them I pooped. <laughs> <laughs> but when I did, their face reaction was more extreme than I thought a poop deserved. <laughs> <laughs> is this real story, Maxi? About your this mum? This is a real story, yeah. Well, I have. I just today heard the word "pooted," like P-O-O-T. The little girl goes, "I oh. pooted, I pooted," and I was like, "Oh, I've not heard that." What's that from Tweety Tweety Pie? No, it was on Voice. Uh, I thought I thought a pooty tat. It was on that new Netflix <laughs> show that where Pharrell and his uncle are putting together a choir. Voice, ah, a voice gospel choir, yeah. vo- voice of, of fire, or voice something. of fire. Um, and yeah, one of the anyway. Yeah, but I quite liked that one, Poot. Have you have you ever been in a conversation and the other person farted and you? I want to know if you did. What was your what would you, what did you do in that circumstance? Did you like bring it to the attention that the guy farted? You go like, I know you farted. Uh, <laughs> the poop Mass, depends. Yeah, it, how comfortable are you with this person? Poop. Yeah, my dad farts if all it, the time in front of me. <laughs> yeah, but it's all right, isn't it? Is that not all right? It's so annoying. <laughs> Stink. <laughs> you see this thing all the time, and he, and he still thinks it's hilarious to this day. And I'm for the 28, 20, how old am I? 26. 20 you know? something years of my life, yeah. 27 years yeah, of my but... life. He still finds it funny to walk over the floor and then fart as if it's the floor that made the noise. <laughs> see. And he'll look at it and he'll stamp on it a few times and be like, oh, I think the floor's a bit creaky or something. And if he has another one ready, he'll do it again on the same spot. I was like, yeah, it's definitely the floor. I think it's a you know what? man. That, 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 started off, that started off as a joke. And as he's gotten older, it's just become like a consequence of life. He's just like, oh, yeah. no. He does it without a smile on his face anymore. He just does it. <laughs> yeah, and happened. he doesn't even, and he no longer looks around for acknowledgement either. He just does it. <laughs> if, he, if he does it with no one looking. <laughs> um, oh, that's the best. I just think it's a guy thing, maybe. <laughs> that's the best. Oh my god. What was that, <laughs> I just think it's a guy thing. What? To just, just, Part. yeah, wherever. I mean, I'm pretty Same sure women do it too, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's more. Um, it's weird that I was saying to. Um, <laughs> I, I don't Isn't like Isn't it weird how like, like you don't like as a man, you never want to, like it's an insult to be called a girl and do girl things and as a wait, a girl is an insult to do man and manly things. Did I say that the right way around? Yeah. yeah. Like why is it such an insult? Yeah, but get this. I'll I'll pose this question to you. <laughs> I'll ignore what you said and I'll pose another yeah. one. It was a bad question, I get it. <laughs> Carry on. No, I agree. And I, I, I continue. Um It was a question, not a statement, but well, okay. oh, yeah, this statement. is true. <laughs> so can I use I you agree with your question. You use me as an <laughs> okay. example. Use me as an example. I would I I, I don't I would never like int- I, I don't like that. But let's say Dev, right? He's fine, perfectly fine to, you know, pass wind in front of me. But if I was to pass wind in front of him, that'd be it. Like he'd be mortified. So it is a double standard. And I would never, I wouldn't want to either though, by the way. But, but I reckon it is a you've conditioned standard. him to feel that way. Yeah. Like, no. You're reluctant no. I'm feeling, no. I'm feeling pressured. I'm feeling yeah. trapped. I'm I mean, feeling You sexist bullied. Pig. I'm feeling Women got bullied. gas too. No, no, I'm saying it's Mate, double standard. How long, like, how I long have you two been together now? 15 years. But I wouldn't... She's been holding her fart for 15 years. <laughs> I'm so years. sure, Dev. Once you fall asleep, Emma, Dev has had the full... 
The full chorus. <laughs> <laughs> He's heard the trumpets playing. <laughs> <laughs> Melody's the same. Don't worry. It's just what happens. <laughs> Mate, he seen the he seen the sheets hover. That's mortifying. <laughs> well, On a winter think... night, it's quite useful. Also, <laughs> also, what like, like just on your poop and your trump and your whatever you want to call it why is the word fart offensive i just don't like yeah. it it just sounds it's, horrid it's just a I word to describe the exact same thing that the other <laughs> words know. describe i know i just don't like anything anything which starts with an f and ends in a hard consonant <laughs> is an aggressive word <laughs> <laughs> prove me wrong on that one so, sometimes Fork. sometimes Fight, my farting fuck, can be quite aggressive fog. They're just they're just aggressive. Well, I, I as I said, I think I blame Mum because she didn't like the word, and so we had to use an alternative word, and it, that's how. Yeah. So now you're gonna pass it on to your children. No, they've already started saying the F word because of him. <laughs> really? The F word. Yeah. And I'm like, fart. Oh, I go. Oh, we fart you. here. Or... Oh, hopefully it's fart, not the other one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and I say Trump. You mean Trump? Trump. But yeah, yeah. And they're like the orange man. I think man. it's hilarious. My little one is the <laughs> thinks it's the funniest thing, and and he loves it. Yeah, he's just like yeah. he's he's one it's saying really, the really word smell. or doing it. It's oh both. both. No, no, he likes fighting. Yeah, and it's awful. I think it's rancid. Awful. I think it's disrespectful to willingly essentially put your poo particles in the yeah. nose of other people. Agreed. Right? <laughs> they are actually poop particles that travel through the <laughs> fabric of your underwear no, and your no, 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 no. out into people's noses. I got a I got a N95 One in minute my, warning. Um, <laughs> in my undies. <laughs> in my bottom. <laughs> so no particles can leave. They're trapped there. How'd you smell it then? Hey? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how she smells it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gassage. Um... Anyway, know. off um, that yeah. topic. Off what that, a conversation! What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I do love. I do love the. Uh, ooh, that that ground's a bit creaky, isn't it? Ooh, <laughs> geez, <laughs> I've got to get that fixed. I, I, I'm going to use that one now. <laughs> okay, this one. Thanks, Deb, for this article. It's uh. I was slightly shocked, actually. So I'm going to take you through a little imagination process. Imagine a time before the C-section <laughs> <laughs> in the 1800s, Ooh. to be specific. You're coming towards the end of a long labor. And something happens. The baby gets stuck. Now, because this is the 1800s, there's no C-section. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they do? <laughs> well, back in the day, they, get they used to use yeah. a knife and saw pieces of, pe of the woman's pelvic bone out ah. to try and make more space for the baby to pass through the pelvis. But... That was painful, <laughs> and uh, no shit. They used a knife to cut out bone. <laughs> yes, and was, it was slow. That was our hour. And it was very messy. Did they survive so, this? I didn't say, but I would suspect that a fair chunk didn't. Um, now the doctors at the time uh, became inventors, and they created a tool to assist in this procedure. Um, and I'll give you one guess as to what that tool is now known as in today's modern era. Well, I've seen the story, so I'm not going to guess. Okay, don't you guess. <laughs> Forceps? Nope. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> A chainsaw. The chainsaw that we use today to cut through wood and trees and bushes was originally created by doctors to use on women yeah. during labor. During labor. It, gives the, it uh, was, however. It feels like a very manly invention, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it gives the, uh, the chainsaw massacre a different ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> the chainsaw was invented yeah. in 1780. It, be it was a quick 
quick way to cut through the bone to give the baby more space. Um, it was quite small. It was powered by a hand crank. Um, oh, yeah. And there is a picture of it. It looked like a modern day kitchen knife, but with little teeth on a chain that wound around in an oval. Um, but it looked less scary and more medical than um, the uh, today's. It's not about chainsaw. less scary. I mean, it's it looks scary a little bit scary tool. still. <laughs> But because it was so, so efficient, they, hold on. They would insert this chainsaw where the woman's woman's pelvic bone is. Isn't there a possibility of them hitting the baby as well? Possibly. So, you know, but I how guess it was. It would be where the baby got because they were only taking out uh, portions of the pelvis. Pelvis. So I don't know. I mean, they're doctors, but I don't know. Sounds like they're butchers, not doctors. <laughs> you know, but they used to be called uh, butchers. Uh, on these articles, like at the bottom, there's always a bunch of adverts for pictures. Yeah. Under mine, the first one is a guy pushing a, what do you call it? A casket into like a furnace. Like very, oh very no. <laughs> oh no. Well, because they were so effective at cutting through that, through bone, they then developed the, the chainsaw. Well, then they went on to be used for amputations and operations. Um, and then it evolved into woodworking tools. And because oh, there was, it was man. so effective, it grew larger, grew more powerful. Anytime. I'm just... Um, so what, so the, from going from the pelvis for the birth, did they actually put a motor on it? When did the motor go on? I don't know, because it was hand crank at first. So I'm not sure when they put the motor on. So... <laughs> so they would insert the chainsaw or and go yeah like yeah, yeah basically Just and it was imagine called imagine in the late 1800s they started putting motors on everything 1800s I was going to say wouldn't it be easier just to get a saw and go mm. well that's what they did in the Ven- yeah. Was it? yeah yeah it was called a sim a sim physiotomy and they're no longer used however in certain <laughs> sections <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Yeah. No. Yeah. In certain parts in third world countries where an operating room isn't available for cesarean sections, they, they are still, still carried out sometimes. Today. Sometimes, but they're no longer performed in like the Western world, I guess. So if there's no um, if there's no electricity, you're getting sword. Hand crank, maybe. I don't know. Don't don't need electricity for a chainsaw. Why, like, how? Why is childbirth oh, yeah. so hard? <laughs> yeah. But look, this is the picture, yep. Dev. I'm assuming you're yep. pushing out a big head from a, not a big area. Mm. That area has to stretch. Mm-hmm. Why are we designed like that? It seems so... like cause <laughs> well, Humans no. are the worst at giving birth of all the animals. It's because no, 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 I have not. the answer to that. Actually, I think, I think it's bulldogs. No, I actually the have the answer. heads are too big to go through. So they have to get a cesarean. We've discussed this in a previous podcast, but through human evolution... Our brains have got, our heads have got bigger. Um, My head was always pretty big. But the pelvis bone has stayed the same because our heads have got bigger. Pelvis bone got smaller. Well, yeah. Yes, that's right. We started standing on our two feet. Two feet and our heads got bigger because our brains got bigger. And then those two things don't quite. I thought the point of evolution was to be intelligent, not to like make things harder for us. (laughs) Well, apparently it it was more beneficial for us. To stand on two feet than it was to have every single baby that comes out survive. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Yeah. I wouldn't want to saw my pelvis bone. No. No, but it's either that or the baby gets stuck, and then what happens? Do you reckon there's? But well, I guess he has to live, you have to live a... his life hanging out of your. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you think there's ever been a more dramatic shift in tool repurposing? Ah, oh, from childbirth to uh, like. Well, that's tree a good locker. question. Mm. Wow, that I was a good a lot, article because um, I had probably no a lot. Lucas Aid wasn't Lucas Aid used to be for people that were sick in hospital, right? What? And now it's used for sport athletes. Yeah, but so was kind cigarettes. Of a shift. What? <laughs> I mean, what was your Lucas Aid to cigarettes? No, cigarettes were given to people that were sick. No, initially. I don't know. And then, really? I th- did I make well, I know that? that I know they I were promoted then... by doctors. I know that. Yeah, they I were promoted. They, I don't know if they were you... like prescribed, but yeah, I think they like some doctors. Yeah, gave there them. was a saying: "A pack a day keeps a doctor away." Oh. Was... 
No, okay. Is that a saying? Apple no. or something? It's, more. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a saying. Uh. <laughs> do you know, um, this isn't quite the same, but do you know, I think I said this before, the s- sticky notes that you like stick on the yeah. wall or something. The glue for that was meant to be a super glue. It was meant to be a super glue, but it didn't work very well. And they, they decided it was so bad, they now use it for sticky notes. No way. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. yeah that's Talking about super glue, there was an incident I've heard about this before. at my secondary school, high school, where a bunch of the kids got their hands on super glue and, and some of them super glued their eyes shut together. No. Do you remember that, um, Alexander? Kids are hilarious. You weren't Sorry, there yet. What? <laughs> yeah. Kids are hilarious. <laughs> they were in my year. I think they were in my year. How would I remember? They Emma, we never at any shut. point went to the same Like school. one of the girls super glued her eyes shut. The others had like super glue mishaps in different various parts of their body but yeah <laughs> I was, to be honest like, i feel like i heard body. these stories and i was so scared of super glue as a result but who like i don't know what hey, i don't know okay well. if this is how you know the, the week if you're stupid enough to super glue your eye shut <laughs> you deserve to have your eye shut what did they use have the... i told you about the like the most stupid thing i'd done with my bathroom lock yes yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it was, Throwback. but you did tell us I the don't story. Remember. So I'm like eight years old, and this is my like, I guess my early engineering brain trying to. I'm really curious to see if something can work, and the thing that I want to know it's work is like, can I lock my bathroom door whilst I'm not inside the bathroom? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've all tried that. So By I tied way, a string. One, one minute warning. I tied a string to the lock. That no, like it was from my shorts or something. I pulled out that string that tightens up the waistband. <laughs> And then I tie one end around the lock and I close the door and I stand out. And I don't know what I was thinking. I can't recall it enough. But I'm assuming I was like, let's see if it moves a bit. And I pull. And I'm like, oh, it worked. I'm like, oh, it worked. <laughs> and then I can't open the door. And then me and my mum have to knock the door through. And then from then onwards, we never had a lock on uh, our bathroom. And my brothers hated me for it. <laughs> but, but still, only four of us will know. Thing. You're just inquisitive. Maxi, only four of us will get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, was, I didn't get that joke. Oh. <laughs> Me neither until you brought it up. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. Only one so of the dirty men. Two questions your mum asked. Why is your um, pants around your ankles and why is the toilet door locked? <laughs> <laughs> I was taking a shit. I can answer both of those. <laughs> Guys, that is a hundred episodes done. And dusted. And I'm going to go How eat incredible. that cheesecake now. Do you, do oh, you, do you oh, guys feel cheesecake awesome as well? What? Is it a New York lemon. one? Lemon. Oh, no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No. No, oh, no, okay. Not for lemon. Nah. Uh, Keep it out. Lemon cheesecake. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just have a lemon, lemon cake? curd muffin. Divine. I'm, I might make oh, a cheesecake lemon today. Curd. Oh, make one. Mm, make one and take a picture. Yeah. That's what COVID does to you. It makes you bake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you lot tasted my cheese cake, everyone's, cake, cooking, you? Shortbread. everyone's cooking schools ever improved mm. um well <laughs> mine hasn't <laughs> well today i just cloned a plant you are you are i cloned a tomato plant oh very good cj you cloned it what do you mean you cloned a tomato plant wait a minute what <laughs> you cloned a uh, tomato plant okay there's a way to create a copy of the tomato plant that you have. <laughs> Tom- t- tomato plants create suckers, right? Which is a separate plant, which is part of the main stem. If you detach them, put them in water for a few weeks, and then replant them, you've created a clone of the plant that you have. It's, oh, I feel so like this is a liberal cloning, word. Of, very different. Yeah, li- liberal use of the word clone, I think. Yeah, but it's basically creating a copy of the plant that you got. That's like, is that like oh, saying cool. children are a cloning of you? Why? Dev, Dev Why? and Emma have Ooh. three clones. Yeah, that one's a... No, no, it's not coming from the seed. <laughs> it's coming from the plant itself. Yeah, so oh, if, if, if I chopped the finger off and then... Planted it. And then, uh, and then a being was... Devin. Yeah, Wait, that's not, how, that's not how Aiden, Nate and Archie came to be? <laughs> yes, I've lost three fingers. <laughs> Peace out, A-Town. I like that seed. Well done. <laughs> how crazy is this? Let me... Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> Let me tell you something real quick. I, I, do you know Google Trends? Yes. No. No. 
So uh, there's a there's a thing trends.google.com right you can type in a word and it will tell you like how it's trended over time like how many people search for it. Oh. So I was curious. I thought if I type in the word recipe I'll see how many people are searching for recipes and if covid have influenced that. Okay. And I haven't really found that but what I have found <laughs> is it peaks. It peaks every single year in December. For oh. Christmas tree decorations. No, for the recipes, <laughs> crispy recipe. recipes. The, the word what recipe the hell? What, is searched you... <laughs> nearly twice as much in December's as it is any other time thought, of the year. I thought, I thought you were what onto it. What is interesting is this year it peaked in April. Ooh, so in March, April lockdown, I think everyone started COVID, recipes. March, so yeah. the, not March, sorry, lockdown. Oh, yeah, man, I thought I put you onto it, Emma, when you said that. About. You're like, Christmas tree decorations. <laughs> 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 recipe uh, wait it actually tells you what what they were searching for baker's yeast buttermilk that's so cool and that is the end of another podcast oh, thank you sponge very cake. much sponge cake peaked massively i am devon <laughs> twice as many people signing s- off <laughs> search for sponge I cake am... in may 2020 than they did any other time before that. you are <laughs> yes alexander sponge cake signing off I like sponge cake oh, cj Crazy. signing off Emma, signing off. Maxi, podcaster on the increase as well. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi, are you back now? Is our, is, is our podcast? I'm going to have a look. TBSW. Uh, our podcast is. Uh, it doesn't show up. You have to have a certain amount of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! TBSW has peaked twice. One in maybe January 2019, and one in March 2020. Are you uh, are you what back for good now, Maxi? Yes. And Max will be back next week. All right, guys. Boom. Bye. That was the worst, worst sign off ever. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Happy 100. Like, subscribe, rate, send mail. <laughs> All of it. Whoever, send, send articles for us to talk about. Whoever made it to I this like part, Rebel did. Code, code is candy. If you put that on Instagram, YouTube, wherever, we know you listen to the whole way through.